It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got a showdown in the NFC North. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. Historic Lambeau Field fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. The kicker, Will Reichard, has the ball on the tee. And off we go from Lambeau. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So the Packers make their way out for the first time, and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget... He had to exhibit a lot of patience, waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. In motion, the tight end. Throwing. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Buying time to his left. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now a second and 10. Throwing. Love. Forced out to his left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. 21 yards there on third down. 
And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Off the play fake, Love. That is incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Second and 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it. But don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Love from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 20-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with upper... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown. Luke Musgrave, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Now the try here for the pulling after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Vikings offense making their way out behind their former number three overall pick, who spent his last year as a 49er. It's Sam Darnold. And he's still been looking for that one situation to allow all of his talents to come together. He's hoping that he found it here. Plenty of playmakers on the outside and a team that's willing to run the football to let his talent shine. Darnold now to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Back to throw, Darnold. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. 
Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away, you're talking just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over, but he ended up finding another receiver. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They've got the seven to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Play action this time with Love. Completed out left to Dobbs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And the result, a Green Bay score. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10.
A play fake, and it's Darnold. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, partners, the first quarter too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Back to throw, Darnold. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a give to Jones running left. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Here's a second and eight. They'll go again to Jones. Able to fight through one tackle. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the field. On side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like I'm, it. I'm feeling it. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but... Did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Working out of the gun, Love. He finds his man, complete. It's Reed. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. 
Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Here's Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Throwing. Love. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jordan Love, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers take a three-touchdown lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Now the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. That time, a six-play drive. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Vikings head out to take over once again. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse if this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Darnold. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. But well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw is Darnold. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. 
And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch, not much yardage afterwards. And from the 34, here's second and four. Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. The Packers on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and four. Throwing, love, able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and 10. Now Love. His throw incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 32-yard line. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. That's taken in by Kraft. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here's Jacobs. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. One more time with Jacobs. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. A short game that doesn't get him the first down, brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They go with Jacobs. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Vikings, they come up big down near the goal line. 
So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third, unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. So this is where a defense can really pin back its ears, bring it all, sell out to stop the run. This time, it'll earn them two points. They definitely guessed right here. A run blitz all the way, and that's a bad feeling for a running back when he knows he's got to at least get it over the goal line. But all he sees are opposing jerseys. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. And that flag accepted. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. To pass, here's Jordan Love. That's taken in by Watson. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. Throwing, love, slant around, he's got Dobbs. They call his number again, it's his sixth catch and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out, two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together, just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's second and 10. Love now. And that's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Love. They go play action now. Looking deep here for Dobbs. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Brandon Powell, deep from Minnesota. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can go. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Eric Stokes in on the tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. 
but that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Back-to-back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8. Fighting him off. And good power running, but he's still going to be about a yard short. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And here's Ryan right now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Tackle there by Jerry Tillery. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now a second and 10. to pass. Here's Jordan Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Love. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Who finds his receiver, Watson. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen. But he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. A four receiver set here, third and five. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll come up facing third and five. Working out of the gun, Love. And that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. 
So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And with a score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Thirty-five seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Back to throw, Darnold. Completes this to Addison out left. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. A final shot before the break. Darnold looking for Addison again, and he's got him again. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. It was an excellent first half from quarterback Jordan Love. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Vikings offense had Aaron Jones headed back onto the field. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Play action. It's Darnold. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Darnold from the gun. He gets it to Addison, and he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that's going to make it fourth down. I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch, gets his feet down, sets up a fourth down and short situation. I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver is taught that. 
sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Love. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Now Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 41-yard line. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Working out of the gun, Love. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. Now Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the 17, here's second and four. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Josh Jacobs 
A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have got it on cruise control. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. But the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point. And on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook, but bottom line is don't quit competing. To throw is Darnold. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a gain of just a yard at its second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's Darnold. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome. But completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. You're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after him. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Darnold from the gun. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. 
And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a halt. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Darnold. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Vikings are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 26. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and ten. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. Tackled by Jonathan Grenard. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's Love. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing. Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Love now. They complete once again to Watson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Love looking to throw it. Got Dobbs over the middle. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. 
Here's Jacobs from the gun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 32. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Packers on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. 77 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So the hard count gets them there. Neutral zone infraction. Yeah, the defense thought they had the timing down, but the quarterback hit them with a hard count, got them to jump. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Give that sack to Harrison Phillips, the big man. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Love looking to throw it. Slant route, he's got Dobbs. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Well, they have been unstoppable this afternoon, Charles. They just went after them from the start. And pass plays like we just saw, they're continuing their dominance here despite the big lead in the fourth quarter. And that they have in every way. And plays like that across all phases of the game, they've just been effortless for them in this one. And that's what's helped them build such a large lead and allowed them to smile as this game continues. Jacobs looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Jacobs again, and I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here.
So a defensive brain lapse there and an encroachment penalty. Sometimes when you don't watch the football and make sure that it's snapped, you're watching the offensive player, and they can influence you occasionally and look like they're getting ready to move, and the officials don't detect it. They'll run with Jacobs. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. Fourth down and no hesitation from Matt LaFleur as he sends out the field goal unit. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And this one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. That drive just seemed to go for an eternity. I could kind of hear our sponsors saying, hey, we need to get our product pushed here. <laughs> but then it ends in a field goal. Yeah, how about that? Not enough time for product placement but plenty of time to get three points out of the deal. <laughs> I know that the guys on defense, though, they want to get those products out there. They want to stop that drive, just were unable to do so. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now it's Darnold. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's second and three. Darnold. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Back to throw, Darnold. Middle of the field to Jefferson. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Darnold, setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. So the screen good for only two, now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here is third and five. To the air again, Darnold. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now it's Darnold. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. 
Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third down, here's Jones. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Fourth down now after a loss of two. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. That is caught. And down inside the 15 he goes. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Now with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Nine-yard line, second and six. Back to throw, Darnold. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll cut the lead down now to 22. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. The Packers' offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long.
Here's Jacobs on first and 10, down to about the 45. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Second down, Jacobs once more. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. To throw now, here's Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time